Every day, our complex society is faced with complex life challenges. A future common especially with developing countries like Nigeria, which has its unique catalogue of problems militating against its growth. Problems such as poverty, civil unrest, brain drain and general poor infrastructure are a manifestation of the state of hopelessness and poor societal values. Government alone does not have the machinery to tackle these problems as some of the problems are best handled by specialized agencies. Today, many private organizations, especially non-governmental organizations, are being formed to take up the challenge. Hadiza Maina is the coordinator of Mana Resources Development Center a Christian faith-based community development organization. MANA, M-A-N-N-A in the Bible, talks about, I mean, if we look at the scriptures, it was something the Lord provided for the Israelites while they were in the desert. So it, it means that God has already given us provision. It is for us now to look at what we have around us to enable us to live godly lives. So really that's why the name manna came about. Manna, something. I mean, we are told in the Bible that the Israelites couldn't put a name to it. They said something. So we are saying, what is that thing that the Lord has endowed you with? It, when we talk of natural resources, we are not talking about just a Greek. It could be your intellect, you know, it could be your skills. And then you could go to agricultural products or whatever you have in your community that you can harness into giving you a source of livelihood or making you comfortable. Mana Resources, a non-governmental organization, is involved in the identification, sourcing and utilization of natural resources for economic empowerment and holistic development of communities where these resources are found. Thus, responding to the state of hopelessness experienced in our communities due to poverty, ignorance and apathy. Mabudi is the headquarters of Lenten South local government area and from all indications this is like the major source of their drinking water. You can see people bathing in it, people fetching water from it for drinking and over there you can see the same source of water is being used to wash vehicles. Conceived in the year 2002, Mana Resources was birthed in April 2004 with a seven member board of trustee, an executive council, management team, program coordinators, field officers and a general congress. MANA Resources is guided by the core values of acknowledging the Almighty God as the creator of heaven and earth and all that is in it. For he gives the power to create wealth using same for the upliftment of his kingdom on earth through mankind. Hadiza Maina tells us more on the vision and mission of MANA Resources. What we envisage is a situation where we have a resource center which is well equipped where people can come and access whatever information because what we're trying to do is from conception of an idea or of, a, of identifying a resource up to the stage of it's been marketed. So we envisage we would have a well equipped uh, center that will take care of the holistic feature of man that's the spirit, the soul and the body so that communities will be transformed for the better. To, prepare your mind that we are coming. to achieve its mission, MANA Resources focus its attention on anti-HIV AIDS campaign, on the utilization of natural resources, inadequate entrepreneurial skills, poor condition of social amenities, a decline in spirit focus and purpose for living.
As a trustee with minor resources, it is my respons our responsibility to make sure that they, they keep within the vision and mission of the, of the NGO. There are many temptations. You know, as you start, you may see other avenues that will attract you. But if you are not careful, you can easily derail. Mm -hmm. Because most NGOs now, you find that they are not doing what they initially started. Most of them abandoned their initial mission and vision. Mana Resources has been networking with other non-governmental organizations in pursuit of its goals. It has also collaborated with government agencies like Raw Material Research and Development Center JOS, Zonal Office of the Nigeria Shippers Council JOS, in addition to offering consultancy services to Tarok Foundation in Plateau State. MANA Resources has been of great help to Tarok Foundation. We have benefited a lot from her expert advice on how to run our programs on how to work together with the the communities in the villages we have other interesting uh, programs like uh, trying to impart skills to uh, youths and women in the communities and she has a lot of ideas in her we plan to go into building setting up a vocational training center where such youths and women could be given the necessary skills to be able to uh, sustain themselves. As part of its goal to empower communities to harness natural resources through education, self-help projects and living healthy lifestyles, Mana Resources has held several workshops one of which was a three-day HIV AIDS voluntary counseling and testing training in Mabudi, Langtang South local government area in Plateau State. We want people to know that HIV and AIDS, HIV AIDS is just like any like diabetes. It's like hypertension. It's something you can control. Some people have rightly said the way and means through which it can be contacted, which is true. We've been able to establish that awareness that we are there to serve the community. They, we are now recognized and then people can come and talk to us about any of their uh, uh, problems concerning the HIV uh, programs. We now have collaborated to make our own uh, home-based kits and uh, we, are, we give this to some of our uh, support groups and we have done, this is an example of our home-based kits, this is made by us and uh, we made them available to home care providers. In April 2004, a two-day workshop on effective utilization of natural resources on the plateau as inputs for industries was held. The gains of these workshops are far-reaching. Christian Rural Urban Development Agency of Nigeria, Crudan, facilitated one of its workshops on a five-year strategic plan, which was held in October 2004. 